And if Rishi Sunak thought his year couldn't get any worse, grassroots Tories have now ranked him bottom in a list of the most popular cabinet members, potentially leaving his leadership challenge in tatters. The poll from Conservative Home shows Dishi Rishi has lost his mojo as a hoodie-wearing housewife's favourite in the wake of his green card status and his wife's tax affairs. The Chancellor now has a support rating of minus 5.2% among the Tory faithful, the worst of any government minister, down from an astonishing 39% just two months ago. Defence Secretary Ben Wallace leads the pack thanks to his performance over Ukraine, while his truss is also a big mover up into second from fourth. Boris has slipped to third bottom ahead of Ben Elliott and Sunak. So as the media delights in having torn down Rishi, does this poll show his political career is over? Well, Darren Grimes thinks not, and he joins me now. I mean, Darren, this is obviously fascinating because all of the leadership contenders look very closely at the Conservative home polling because it shows not what the wider public think, but what Tory members think. But you think there's a way for Rishi to turn this around? Absolutely. I mean, the old adage, 24 hours is a long time in politics, Dan. Well, two months is an absolute eternity, right? So Rishi Sunak is clearly not experiencing the same lofty political heights that he was orbiting uh, not too long ago, especially during the, the pandemic when he was able to hand out cash like a bank. And that old line by Harold Macmillan of events, dear boy, events are what do it for politicians. I think actually Rishi Sunak has experienced, it's safe to say, one or two events over recent times. It's probably, I think, for viewers, helpful to just remind us of what's actually gone on over over recent times, because... Whilst Boris Johnson, it looked likely, I think two months ago, you revert back to that time, it looked likely that Boris Johnson was going to be on his way out, right? The 1922 committee were getting letters in there before Russia's invasion of Ukraine. It looked like Rishi Sunak would be put into the top job faster than I don't know what, Dan. But politics ultimately changes faster than the lineup of sugar babes, doesn't it, as you well know. And (laughs) I think it can be turned around. I think it can be turned around. Again, I say that events, dear boy events. Boris Johnson looked like he was on his way out. Ukraine made him look like a statesman. I think Rishi Sunak, if he continues to actually take it seriously, the cost of living crisis, as he has... And he's saying to cabinet ministers, Dan, who are absolutely desperate for extra cash, he's saying, hang on a minute. We are spending more on debt interest repayments than we are on certain budget, uh, entire budgets of departments, of governmental departments. We haven't got the cash to be spending it recklessly on these trinkets that government ministers want to make themselves look good. I actually think, though, Rishi Sunak would be a great foreign secretary. And I think that might be what what happens in the summer. There's going to be a summer reshuffle, often is. Boris Johnson's going to want to have a clear break from the party gate and all the rest of it of the past. I know your viewers, Dan, are absolutely sick of hearing about party gate, as am I. But I think he'll want a clear break. And yeah, well, there, there's this rumour going around, isn't there, Darren, that, that potentially Boris could be a little bit strategic and actually move uh, Liz Truss uh, into number 11 to be his new exactly. chancellor, hence potentially thwarting her future leadership ambitions because he would obviously be putting her there right in the midst of a cost of living crisis. Uh, is Boris really that strategic? Oh, I think Boris Johnson absolutely is, Dan. You don't get to be Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland by not being a little bit of a schemer. I think Boris Johnson will absolutely try that. And and I actually would go as far as to, to predict that. I mean, you have imagine being the Chancellor right now. 
where I mentioned all the, the constraints of debt repayments, the fact that if we borrow more, we've got to pay it back and interest rates are going to have to go up and all of these other things because to combat inflation. So if Liz Truss becomes chancellor, she's very popular right now as foreign secretary and before that as trade secretary. But if she has to make decisions that mean she is precluded from being a tax cutting Tory, well, the membership that you mentioned and that's that's who matters in in the ultimate stakes of becoming prime minister. Well, she won't be very popular with a, a Tory base that is absolutely desperate, Dan, for for tax cuts, for true blue Toryism that we just haven't experienced over recent. Yeah, but maybe she maybe she would cut taxes though. Maybe she would well, convince maybe. the prime minister to do so. But I agree. I actually think, and I I, I agree with you, Darren. This would be unthinkable a few months ago. I think it would actually be the right move uh, for Rishi to, to to move out of Number Eleven now, give him a chance to rehabilitate. Fascinating analysis. Darren Grimes back with Real Britain Saturday, Sunday afternoons here on GB News.